Hello everybody, I've decided to um, have a video on how to set the uh, or calibrate the throttle endpoints using the Talon 90, Castle Talon 90 ESC um, in connection with the AR7210BX and the AR7200BX. The challenges that I faced all relate to the fact that there are fail safes built into either the radio or the receiver uh, that do not permit you to initiate in a full throttle position. The There are several workarounds that I saw on the net. All of them either spoke about the usage of an external Beck, uh, another receiver plugged into some of the channels in here by removing a red wire, etc., etc. Uh, this is a much simpler process and the two main problems that I found, one was in the radio and one was with relation to the uh, AR7210BX and the workaround that I found is much simpler and much quicker. So let's cover the one with the radio first. One of the problems that I had was anything starting above here due to the warning system in the radio gave me this result. Which you can see the system does not permit me and I would force me to come into a low throttle position in order to initiate. Therefore, if there's a warnings, and this is basically something which may have been either in the radio or you set up, you go to system setups, click yes for the caution, you're moving down to the warnings and under throttle you're going to put it to inhibit back out and now if I were to start in a high throttle position there's no warning and it will allow me to do so now I'm going to move on to the issue with the AR7210 uh, BX okay so I'm going to continue with the demonstration on how to set the throttle uh, fixed endpoints on the Cal, uh, Castle Talon 90. Don't be confused with the fact that I have the receiver separate. Uh, it's I'm going to be swapping it out and I just haven't done so yet. So in essence this could be sitting here with everything plugged in as per normal. Um, all I've done was I've removed the satellite connection, uh, the satellite receiver from here and the ESC lead. Um, what I've done is I've plugged in the satellite receiver which is going to enable me to bind and I'm going to plug the uh, ESC into the throttle channel as per normal. What I'm going to be doing is again safety first we've removed the main blades. Um, first thing we need to do is set up the radio. So let's go ahead and do that. First things first, we need to set a linear throttle curve, which I've done 0, 050, 100. Now we need to then go into your servo setup and adjust your travel on your low stick position. Bring it all the way down to 30. and your high stick position to 30 as well. So we've now set your travel for max and min to 30. We'll back out and close that down. Okay. So as I mentioned before, the problem is um, the fact that you need to initialize your castle uh, and to get into program mode you need to be at high stick and the receiver requires a low stick position for the same reason to initialize. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, fooling the receiver into believing that high stick is actually low stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to bind the receiver at the high stick position essentially letting this believe that that is low stick and allowing the ESC or the castle link uh, the castle talon 
to uh, enter programming mode at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put in your bind plug. We've already put in your power. And we power up your radio. Pull your bind plug. We will then unplug the ESC. Close down your radio. So what we've done is now established the high stick position as the fail safe for your receiver. And now what we're going to do is simply we'll turn on the receiver. We'll plug in the ESC. And now we will go into those endpoints that we had. And we'll go to the high stick position and we'll increase it. I've already done this before, so I know it's around 110 or 12. So I'll just get up to about 100 and then slowly increase from there. There we go. And I'll go two points. Now we'll go to the low stick position and we'll do the same thing. As you go through the mid stick, you'll get another tone. Oops. And again, I know it's around the same value on the low end, so I'll go to 110 and then slowly increase from there. And I'll go two more points. And we're set up. I'll back out. Now you're armed, so you will again unplug your ESC. Close down your radio. Now here's the important point. You need now to rebind your receiver at the low stick position in order to truly activate the failsafe and have things work properly. So we're going to go ahead and do that. You put your bind plug back in. We will plug in our receiver, uh, plug in our ESC, and initiate the regular standard bind process. Just do that again. Binding. DSMX twenty two milliseconds. Bind complete. Pull a blind. Bind plug. Unplug your ESC. Close down your radio. And now we should be good to go with your points being set up. And just to test it, we'll open up your radio. Plug her in. 